Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett. So, you guys know Joel, the 3D printing nerd, right? You've probably seen him here, or here, maybe even here. Oh, crap. Uh, how did that one get in there? So, this GMAX sitting right here behind me was actually one of Joel's first printers, and he teamed up with Gcreate to make this a traveling GMAX. And that means that they're sending it around to a couple different YouTubers and just letting them make cool things with it. And I was lucky enough to be the first recipient on that list. Now, we've already made a ton of really cool projects with this that you guys will be seeing very soon, but before I send it on, I have just enough time for one more project, so I thought it would be perfect to make a big Mega Man. <laughs> So I'm going to be modeling Mega Man in ZBrush, but the original pixel art doesn't translate well to 3D, so I'm just going to be using the Super Smash Bros version of Mega Man to do this. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So what you just watched was the starting of the modeling process of me modeling Mega Man. Now, um, I mentioned I was using ZBrush, and I know that there's not a lot of people out there that use ZBrush with 3D printing, so I'm really gonna try to break down the core modeling processes that I'm doing so you can uh, understand the steps that I'm taking to achieve the finished Mega Man. I started this model out basically the same way I start most of my models, using Z-Spheres. To me, Z-Spheres are one of the best ways to get the basic shape, especially if it's humanoid or something that has a lot of limbs. Z-Spheres, you can just quickly pull things out and get them to the shape you want before you add the details. So if you're creating a person, for example, usually the first sphere I make the chest. So I pull one out for the torso, I can create two little things that come off of that and those become the legs, two things that come off the original one that become the arms, and one on top that becomes the head. And you just add more here, adjust the sizes, until you can get that basic shape close to what you're wanting in the final product. So at this point, all you're doing is blocking out the basic shape. Don't worry about any of the details or anything like that. Um, just get it in the pose that you want it to be. So in the case of Mega Man, he has a ton of armor on him as well. So I'm not going to be using Z-Spheres to do that, but that does still count as the basic shape that I'm trying to get. So I'll do that before I try to add any of the details on top of it. And for this, I'm actually going to be using Z-Modeler, but it's basically modeling with curves. Um, if you watch the footage that I'm about to show, you can kind of see what it's doing. But basically, there are points all over that are connected by lines, and each of those lines forms a curve by connecting all of those those points. Now that may sound confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. If you watch closely, you can kind of tell what I'm doing. I'm basically taking a cylinder and there's a bunch of rings on there and I'm kind of just scaling the rings out to get the basic shape of like his arm armor or the blaster, for example. And ZBrush just does a lot of nice calculations to make sure the curves look nice and there's not just a lot of jagged edges.
So from this point, I, I have most of the basic shapes there. Um, I still need to do a couple things like his pelvis area, the little underpants that he wears. But from this point, I'm going to start adding in some details. And now there's a lot of different ways to do this. In Mega Man's case specifically, I used a lot of booleans just to get the lines between the panels looking correctly. And you'll notice that I adjust the proportions here and there to fit and make sure that he's looking like Mega Man should look. And Mega Man has a pretty clean design so he doesn't have too many little details, but the details you have need to look spot on or it just won't look right in the end. So we'll go ahead and add in the last of those details, and the only thing after that is splitting him up for printing. Now that's ki kind of a um, complicated subject in ZBrush, so that'll deserve a video of its own in the future. Okay, so now that the Mega Man model is done, um, we're going to start printing it, and I'm going to show you the filaments we're going to use to print this. Um, since I split it up to be printed in the colors, we're not going to paint it or anything, so these are actually going to be the final colors you see on the print. The vast majority of the colors are going to be blue. The, there is a dark blue, and for that we used Filamentum Noble Blue. This is an absolutely beautiful filament. It says Noble Blue right there, but... Um, this one's absolutely perfect. We actually used this for our Optimus Prime model as well. It's wonderful stuff. Um, and then for the lighter blue, we used AMZ 3D. Uh, I think this one's just called Light Blue. Yeah, this one's just Light Blue, and I think these two work really well together, and it got us that Mega Man look that we were going for. Then for the skin tone, we used AMZ 3D as well, and this is their Sakura Pink. 
Then there were just a few extra pieces we had to do, like um, inside his ears are red as well as the blaster piece. So we just used filamentum signal red for that. And then I believe we used AMZ 3D white for the eyes. And then filamentum black for the pupils. Okay, so uh, we have Mega Man done and printed, but I got this really weird text message to meet us at Chelsea's Bakery. So Chelsea and I are here. Let's go figure it out. Yeah, let's see. This is very strange. Super weird. Uh-oh. What's going on? What in the heck? Did you know about this? I didn't know about this at all. Joel. Oh, hey guys! I'm just decorating some cookies here. How did you get in here? Uh, I mean, I mean, I just get For into sure. these places. You just, you just appear. Look at, I'm, I'm decorating these t-shirt cookies. Look at 3D. That is amazing. Ready, ready, ready? Get in on that. P and N. There we go. Why Look at that. That's a new t-shirt design. Why are you at our bakery? Because it's a bakery. They have wonderful, tasty things here. Sure. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, well, we're gonna assemble Mega Man. Let's do it! Sweet. Okay, so we are gonna put Mega Man together. Joel's gonna eat some cookies. But in order to see the second part of this video, you're gonna have to pop over to his channel, 3D Printing Nerd. I will have a link down in the description. Go click that and you can see part two where we assemble Mega Man mm -hmm. and make a mess. Mm. And eat some cornstarch doused cookies. That's right. They taste wonderful. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Keep creating. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. There's blue everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna say, I something over by my eye. <laughs> I think that's good.